Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is covering the best gadgets in Brawl Stars. We're going to show you guys seven gadgets and we're just going to show you guys which ones are the best in the game, which ones are going to appear in your shop and that you should most definitely 100% buy. If you guys see these, get them immediately because it makes these brawlers so much better and gadgets are truly very, very important. Probably the most important thing that you can get. Definitely more important than star power. So with that being said, let's hop into the games. And let's show you guys the best gadgets in the game. All right, so coming in at the first spot here. Now, these aren't going to be in order, but I wanted to put this first because it is easily the best gadget in the game. It's going to be Silver Bullet. Now, Silver Bullet is very self-explanatory. If you guys have been YouTube at on YouTube at all, you guys know exactly why Silver Bullet is OP. It is basically a full Colt clip compacted into one very easy to hit bullet. You can auto aim from close range against slow brawlers, medium range, even sometimes. And it's just such a good gadget in general. It's so broken absolutely fantastic and i would highly recommend using it now the thing with colt's gadget is that it can go through walls it changes distance dependent on what star power you're using so obviously if you're using the range star power it's going to be a lot easier than if you were using you know the speed star power but even then the, st the speed star power still makes it really good it's a completely broken brawler and I would definitely 100% recommend getting this Colt gadget. But outside of that, Colt, as you guys know, is just like a really good brawler, probably the best brawler in the game right now. So I would highly recommend using Colt and getting that gadget because if you guys want to push any brawlers in Brawl Stars, like I said in a video pretty previously, Colt is one of the easiest to push. So I would highly recommend. And yeah, that's going to be Colt. So let's move on to the next brawler and let's get to the next gadget. So our next brawler is going to be B. Now B... Her gadget is obviously broken for very obvious reasons. It is just so good at applying pressure and pushing teams back. No matter what mode it is, it's definitely going to be able to get you a little bit of comfort, get you a little bit of range. As you guys can see here, I do like 9,000 total damage to everyone. Well, 9,000 total damage, I guess. Three per, 3k per brawler. But it's just so good. It's so broken. It's such a good brawler. And it leads to so many just team wipes, position advantages kills etc it is such a good brawler and on on top of that the gadget is just so good now honeycut which is the other one is just not as good it used to be pretty good but not anymore the b gadget it's just broken as you guys see here we're able to almost get a kill but that's gonna lead to us getting that reset and the b gadget it's so good you can use it from such far range and teams and players don't really know how to juke it there might be a handful of people that know how to juke it but that's really it so i would highly recommend using it very good if you guys see it in the shot 100% get it that's gonna be it for B so let's move on to the next brawler and let's keep going so coming in at the next spot we have sprout and garden mulcher now this one is the first sprout gadget it is really strong and really good for very obvious reasons um it's just a really good gadget does a lot for sprout as you guys know sprout is a ranged brawler so it's kind of hard to take down especially since you can also shoot over walls but on top of that fact you can just heal up whenever you want when you're beside a bush, which is basically everywhere in Brawl Stars. There's rarely any maps, basically besides the 1v1 map, where you can't just walk a couple tiles and see a piece of grass and just go eat it really quickly. It's a very good brawler and a very good gadget. I would highly recommend getting it because it's going to just take your experience playing with Sprout to a whole nother level. It's going to make the brawler a lot better and just overall, it's just going to make it such an easier brawler to play. You can go in a lot of different situations that you wouldn't be able to before. And that is why it's going to be on the list. Now, it's probably on the lower end of the gadget so far. But overall, it has been nerfed. It used to be the best gadget. And it might return back to that one day. So, I would definitely invest and use it. But yeah, let's move on to the next gadget. And let's get into it. So, coming in with the next brawler, we're going to have Surge's Teleport. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory. When you think of Surge, you automatically think of the Teleport. You never think of Surge and don't think Teleport. Because it's basically a necessity for Surge. You need the Teleport in order for Surge to be a pretty useful brawler. I'm sorry for all you free-to-play players that don't have the Teleport. Because once you get that Teleport, you're going to realize how different of experience Surge is. And how Surge, how good Surge can actually be with that Teleport. You're able to make a bunch of plays. You're able to do a lot of things. But it's so easy to get the power-ups with Surge. Once you can actually get that Teleport. You can also just Teleport on top of people like that. You make a lot of plays that you really wouldn't be able to make before. Such as teleporting onto that present and being able to defend that mortis when i wouldn't be able to if i didn't have the teleport now it's just it's a really good star or gadget very self-explanatory i don't have to get into it too much but it's super good i would highly recommend using it speeds up plays like that to help us win the game so let's move on to the next brawler and the next gadget and let's get into it so the next brawler and one of the more self-explanatory just like surge and kind of obvious picks is going to be edgar now with edgar 
the gadget is hand in hand with the brawler. You basically need the gadget for the brawler to be good. You can't just walk up to a brawler and kill it. With Edgar, you're basically trying to cycle supers and that gadget obviously helps a lot. Now the gadget's super important, but something I would say is you really want to make sure you're using your gadget effectively. So when your supercharge is at exactly one fourth, one quarter of the cycle, that's when you want to hit that gadget. If it's halfway or more than halfway, you're basically losing value. You should just wait the extra like seven seconds or six seconds and just wait and not waste your gadget because this gadget is so important to Edgar. It gets you super so easily, gets you kills so easily. It is very important that you have it. But just like Surge, it's a hand-in-hand -hand brawler. You basically have to have the gadget in order for the brawler to be good. There's really no more explanation that has to be done. You click green button, you get your super. You click yellow button, jump on them, and you spam the red button and get the kill. It's as simple as that. So let's hop into the next brawler and let's get into it. Now coming in, our final gadget is going to be the Nita Bear Shield. Now Nita's both gadgets are actually really good. But this one is pretty broken for the following reasons. Now when you put down Nita's Bear... What you're trying to get from it is space. So when I say that, if you put your bear down and there's an opponent, your opponent's gonna have to walk backwards and waste all of its shots taking out that bear. That's gonna give you positioning. Now, when you use the bear shield, what that's going to give you is such an insane amount of positioning, space, and just tanked shots to deal with that it's going to be so easy for you to just win that lane and walk forward. Now, if you match it with the heal star power, it's basically unstoppable. And you're ba it's basically just keeping the same health that it's always had. You guys can see it starts with 5.6. But as I'm hitting uh, Brawlers and, and the heal is getting to the bear, the bear just stays alive. It tanks and it's perfectly fine. The shield is so good. It is so incredibly strong. I would highly recommend buying it, especially for you kind of like low to mid trophy players. It is the easiest gadget to push trophies with. And I would highly recommend. But anyways, that is going to be it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, as you guys know, leave a thumbs up subscribe and comment but that's gonna be it i will catch you guys again tomorrow peace